Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips on using rescripts and repack. So let's start with the basics. What is a script? A script is a bit of code that you add into Reaper that adds some functionality. Scripts can be written in EEL, Lua, or Python. And Python was the popular choice uh, for uh, previous versions of Reaper in version 5. It supports EEL and Lua, and those are better script formats for Reaper because its built-in script editor can read those. To run a script, you can simply double-click it. You can click Run or Run and Close. Just like any action, you can use scripts as part of custom actions as well as part of cycle actions. Uh, some things are just filling in the gaps of what is what is missing in Reaper, and some of these are totally new ideas and really, really cool stuff. All right, so maybe you're thinking, how do I load a script? So just look in the action list. And here we have rescript new and load. I'm going to click on load. I'll grab the script, and it adds it into the list. If we want to see what's inside this, we can click edit. And we have the option of rescript IDE, which is the built-in editor for rescript in Reaper. And Text Wrangler is another external app that I added as a editor. We'll come back to that in a second, but I'll just show you in the Rescript IDE. So this is the script. This is one that I made. It's not a very good script because it has no header. It has no descriptions of what it's doing and things like that. But it's something that works, and it's something that I've been using. I'm going to close that, and I'll go into one from Xrain. So let's have a look at this one. And this one has a lot more information. This is the script header. And there's all this information, uh, who made it, a uh, link to the website. There's a link to a forum post describing in more detail what this does. There's a change log, and then the actual code down here. Usually, you don't need to worry about the actual code inside unless you're the one that's writing the code. But the header can be useful for giving you some more information about how it works. Scripts can solve very specific problems or be kind of just general purpose things that are helpful. So it, just knowing that you can look inside the script to get more information is one of the tips that I wanted to share with you. We can also click New and create a new one from scratch. It will ask you where to save. You can save this as whatever.eel or whatever.lua. Then it'll open up your script editor. Something I mentioned earlier was that you could set up an external editor for script editing. So that's in the preferences. And last tab here is external editors. You just go to add, type in the file extension, such as .lua, and then you choose the editor. And you can have two editors for each file extension. For more information about scripts, if you're interested in doing your own scripts, uh, this is the official documentation for Rescript on the Reaper website. And there's also this list of built-in Lua functions here, which is not a great website to look at. Xrame did an awesome job at uh, recreating this. So you can find all the variables that you can call, all the functions that you can use, and you can click on any of them. So add project marker. And then it jumps to that section of the of the list and gives you information. And you can uh, click to copy that code. And then you can go right into the script editor and paste it. So he's done a great job of making this easier for coders, uh, scripters, to build scripts. Xtreme also did an interview with me on Rescript. And there's a ton of beginner and intermediate information there a good showcase of what scripts can do. This interview came out right before Reaper 5 was out, but all this stuff is still applicable. And we also have Repack now. I showed that last week in the Repack video. I didn't get to show everything with the Repack video. Um, there's a few things that I missed. So let's go up to the extensions menu, go to Repack, and let's start with importing a new repository. So I'm going to click on Import. And I need to paste in the index file for this external repository. Uh, I'll use Chris Tamix, and the file I need is right here, the link I need here. Copy link location, go back to Reaper, 
I paste that in. Okay, so it's there and it's enabled. You click on Browse Packages and let's look at what is uninstalled. These are all the things that I don't have installed to Reaper yet. In addition to Chris's scripts, there are also a few other ones that have been updated recently. One thing I didn't mention with installing scripts was that you don't have to select them all. You don't have to install all of them at once. Um, so for example, you can just shift click and select a range or command click and add one to it, or just simply click one and then you can install it. So you can click on the actions button or right click. So action you can install the current version you can look at previous versions if that exists. Package contents will show what files are going to come along with it. With scripts, mostly it's going to be just one file, but with other things, it could be many files. History, and we can also see the about for the read team scripts. So for me, I like to have every script available because then I can just search the action list when I need something, because I don't know what I need until I need it, if you know what I mean. I'm going to select them all, action, install, and then click Apply. It'll just take a few seconds to download everything and update. And it gives me this list of what's installed and click OK. And so now here's the full list. We display all, we've got everything here. Let's go back to the repositories view uh, and manage. Something really cool about Repack is that it can auto update. So we can click on Options and check this option, install new packages automatically, which is really cool because you don't even have to search Repack for new updates now. If you already had scripts installed that were also available in Repack, it can be a little confusing to keep track of which one you want to install. The Repack version is going to be better because it can be updated and it can be auto-installed and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes you'll have duplicates if you remove scripts from your Reaper scripts folder, that doesn't automatically remove them from the action list. Let's just move these to the desktop. So if you have scripts that are loaded into the action list but don't actually exist on the hard drive, you'll run into errors like, like this one. Uh, there are two ways to deal with that. The first way is to kind of remove everything, sort by script and basically select them all uh, up to here. Delete them all. Then you would manually load in all the ones that are remaining here and run repack to reinstall. You'd select all and reinstall to bring them all back in with a clean action list. There's another action that you can use, and it's actually just been put into Repack today. So it's MPLs delete non-existent scripts from action list. And there are two that we're missing. That's those two that I moved to the desktop. So you can see here in the Rescript console output, it's listing what the command ID and the command name is. So you can click yes, and it's going to remove those from the action list. It's also created a backup for us. And there, here's the backup file. One last thing I want to show you is that on the About page for Repack, there is a Donate button. If you look in the Manage Repositories window, go to About for this contributor, you can donate to them as well. So please, if you enjoy x scripts or MPL scripts, or uh, repack, send a little donation, keep the development going, show your appreciation for these guys who are you know, kind of doing this for free, doing this because they like the Reaper community, they want to see it thriving. You know, they're doing great stuff. So please send a donation. This has been a bunch of Rescript and Repack tips and tricks. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and visit reaperblog.net for more tutorials.